Hey and welcome to part 4 of how to build a Nexus 7 tablet into your car. Um, in the last video we looked at the steering wheel controls that are all set up. And now I'm going to dive into a little bit of the software I'm using. Original in video parts 1 and 2 I was using uh, the Elemental X kernel. Uh, I've actually got in on a beta program with uh, Timmer's USB ROM. And uh, it's, it's beta right now, um, but he's going to be releasing it soon. Um, but so far it's working out really well. Uh, what his ROM lets you do is uh, a few things. A, um, if you're using a USB DAC, uh, it allows that to start up when the tablet starts up. Um, also, you can quick charge even while you're using the on-the-go cable. Um, on the Elemental X kernel, it lets you do that, but if you reboot the tablet, it doesn't detect the power. Um, it doesn't detect that the power is connected. Um, so, let's zoom in a little bit here. Um, with the Elemental X kernel, it, it does let you uh, see what's going on. I'm going to dim that so, so it shows up better on the camera. Um, so, uh, it properly always detects when power is connected, and that's the great thing about it, um, along with the uh, different uh, things he does. It. There's two different modes. The fixed installation mode for people who have it in their car, which is what I'm doing, and then just the normal kernel mode. Um, that mode lets you um, use the kernel and use the features of the kernel, but doesn't necessarily, when the power is not plugged in, that it it uh, turns the tablet off. Um, when you are using uh, Timmer's uh, kernel, it also installs this program called Power Event Manager. Um, and what this does is let you change a few settings. And keep in mind, this is beta. Um, fast charge in host mode and firm sleep. Um, so the other thing that this little, little guy does is A, lets you charge... Uh, uh, quickly even when you're using on-the-go devices um, but also if I turn my car off which I'll do now that widget will actually pop up and say going to standby and turn it off for you so um, it's actually really nice because a your tablets gonna turn off you can enable firm sleep which means nothing's gonna wake it up um, and th that's something that uh, I've been going back and forth with Tim Ron is how to, you know, the specifics and and why it, you know, maybe wouldn't go into sleep mode versus other times. And, and he's pretty much got it worked out at this point. So you can see when I turn the car on, it will bring it back up. And also your music, if, it, if you have music playing when you turn the car off, it will start right back where it left off. Um, so that's the other good thing about, about Timmer's ROM. Um, I'm going to place links to his website for the beta program on this. Um, right now it's, uh, it's available for, for donators only, although it will be coming out to the general public soon. Um, but it's actually, uh, a really great, uh, component of a car install. And, uh, it's been very useful for me. I was lucky that he started uh, releasing that project um, right when I went to go and install this uh, Nexus 7 into my car. It's really helped out. I wouldn't have been able to do it without his his support on his kernel. So that's really great. Um, so that's all for part four. Um, I think the last part will be the final part. It's all put together and I'll just do kind of a show-off video for part five to let everyone see all the features that uh, you can do once you have your Nexus 7 installed. Hope these videos have been helpful, and uh, we'll catch you next time.